Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on outward radial flow reaction turbine. In this video, we are going to find out what is the vane angle at inlet and outlet as well as what is the velocity of flow at inlet and outlet with the help of velocity diagram. So first, I will read what is the given problem. The internal and external diameters of an outward flow reaction turbine are 2 meter and 2.75 meter respectively. The turbine is running at 250 rpm and rate of flow of water through turbine is 5 meter cube per second. The width of runner is constant at inlet and outlet and is equal to 250 millimeter. The head on the turbine is 150 meter. Neglecting the thickness of veins and taking discharge radial at the outlet determine vein angles at inlet and outlet, velocity of flow at inlet and outlet. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. Now here it is given that the internal diameter D1 is 2 meter and external diameter D2 is 2.75 meter. That means we can say that at internal diameter there is the inlet tip which is 2 meter. So if we observe in between 2 meter and 2.75 meter here is the 2 meter circle with diameter. So I will say this is the inlet tip A. And here external diameter that is D2 2.75 meters. So this is the outlet tip B. So in this way this is the outward radial flow reaction turbine. That is flow is or the water is moving from this inside uh, periphery or the inside circle periphery to the outside circle periphery. Now. Speed of the turbine N is given 250 rpm then the discharge Q is also given that is 5 meter cube per second. So here is the meter cube then the width at inlet and outlet. So B1 is equal to B2 is equal to 0 0.25 meter. So we have to take the standard dimension that is meter. Then the head is H is equal to 150 meter. Now it is given that the discharge as outlet is radial. So from this condition we can draw here the velocity diagram at the outlet. So first we will complete this uh, velocity diagram at outlet because the condition is given that discharges outlet is radial. So how to draw the velocity diagram with the different conditions that I have uploaded video and the link is given in the description box. So you can refer that. So now for here when the discharge is radial then what how we can say that so at the outlet when discharge is radial then VW2 becomes 0 and beta is equal to 90 degree. So first we have to draw one tangent line passing through this outlet tip B. Now for this tangent line I will draw here one parallel line and then we have to draw here the relative velocity making an angle equal to 5 with this tangent line. So I will draw here that is the line passing through this tip B or here this is the angle that is 5 and here this is the relative velocity that is Vr2. And now in this case Vw2 is 0 because the discharge is radial. So here angle beta is equal to 90 degree that is the angle made by absolute velocity at the outlet with this tangent line. So here we have to draw one vertical line and here we have to show beta is equal to 90 degree. And what is the length of this? So this length indicates the value for u2 because here vw2 is equal to 0 and this vertical line indicates v2 is equal to vf2. So this is the velocity diagram at the outlet tip but how to draw the velocity diagram at the inlet tip. So for that we have to first decide what is the angle theta that is it is acute abscess or 90 degree so it is not given in this data so let us first find out what is the angle theta and then only we can draw here the velocity diagram or 
वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी डब्ल्यू वन एंड यू वन एंड फ्रॉम दैट वैल्यू ऑल्सो वी कैन ड्रॉ हिअर द वेलॉसिटी डायग्रैम सो फॉर दैट इफ वी ऑब्जर्व वी कैन कैलक्युलेट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ यू वन सो यू वन व्हाट इज द फॉर्म्युला दैट इज पाय डी वन एन बाय सिक्सटी सो डी वन इज नोन एन इज नोन सो वेन वी पुट हिअर द वैल्यू वी विल गेट द यू वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट एटीन मीटर्स पर सेकंड नाउ इन द सेम वे वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ यू टू सो यू टू दैट इज पाय डी टू एन बाय सिक्सटी सो डी टू इज नोन एन इज नोन सो वेन वी पुट हिअर वैल्यू वी विल गेट हिअर थर्टी सिक्स मीटर पर सेकंड नाउ डिस्चार्ज थ्रू द टर्बाइन सो हिअर डिस्चार्ज क्यू इज गिवन सो हाउ वी कैन रेट दिस डिस्चार्ज दैट इज क्यू इज इक्वल टू पाय डी वन बी वन वी एफ वन सो दिस इज द फॉर्म्युला and which is also equal to pi d2 b2 vf2 so discharge q is having this formula that is pi d1 b1 vf1 which is equal to pi d2 b2 vf2 because the discharge remains same now so we have to find out so what is the question that we have to find out the velocity of flow at inlet and outlet that is we have to find out vf1 and vf2 so q is known d1 is known then b1 and b2 is also known so here b1 is equal to b2 is equal to 0.25 so when we put all these value we will get vf1 and that is equal to 3.183 meter per second and we also know what is the vf2 because q d2 b2 so when we put here the value vf2 is equal to 2.315 meter per second now the main important thing is that we have to find out this u2 is known now we have to find out what is vw1 and then only we can draw here the velocity diagram so how to find out this so for that there is one formula when there is no any loss in the turbine then we will use this formula h minus v2 square by 2g which is equal to 1 by g v w1 u1 plus minus v w2 u2 but what is happening in this case v w2 is zero that means we have to take here as a zero so what is the formula h minus v2 square by 2g which is equal to 1 by g v w1 u1 so if we observe v2 so here v2 is equal to vf2 that means we have to take v2 is equal to vf2 is equal to 2.315 then g means 9.81 h h is given 150 meter then here is also e is equal to 1 by g that is 1 by 9.81 now here vw1 is unknown and u1 so what is the value of u1 that we have calculated 26.18 so when we put all the values then we can easily find out the value of vw1 so vw1 is equal to 56.1 meter per second now here it is important to note that vw1 now we have to compare vw1 and u1 so here this is the value of u1 and here this is the value of vw1 that means vw1 is greater than u1 when vw1 is greater than u1 then how to find out the angle theta so we know that tan theta is equal to vf1 divided by vw1 minus u1 so when we put the value that is vf1 that is calculated then vw1 calculated and u1 is also calculated so we will get here 0.1064 so angle theta is equal to 6.072 degree so we can say that this is the acute angle now for this acute angle we will draw here the inlet velocity diagram so we have to show here this is the first line or we can first draw here the line parallel to this tangent line so here this is the line parallel to this tangent line and now i will show this is the absolute velocity at inlet that is v1 and this v1 is making an angle alpha here and now i have to show what is the angle theta so how to show so angle theta is made by the relative velocity with this tangent line and this is also the acute angle so i will show here the acute angle that is less than 90 degree so here is the angle theta so 
from the starting point to this point this total length that is equal to u1 so i have to show this is u1 and then i have to show what is the vw1 so for that again i have to draw the velocity of flow so velocity of flow i have to draw with vertical line so here is the velocity of flow so i have to show vf1 and here is vr1 and here is v1 so this line that is to end point shows the value for the vw1 so from this diagram also we come to know that what is the value of tan theta so tan theta is equal to this vf1 divided by this distance so this distance is vw1 minus u1 so theta is getting calculated now we will calculate the phi so how to calculate the phi so this theta and phi are the vane angles at the inlet tip and outlet tip so that is also our question so we are going to find out this phi so phi is equal to vf2 divided by u2 so tan phi is equal to vf2 divided by u2 so vf2 is calculated u2 is also calculated so we get here 0.0643 and that's why phi is equal to tan inverse of this value that is 3.68 degree so these are the answers